Hi, hello. Welcome to Aishu Vlog channel. Today we are going to discuss about the important concepts in AZ 900 chapter 3. We have already posted videos for chapter 1 as well as chapter 2. And this video is for chapter 3. So let's get started. So this chapter describe core solutions and management tools on Azure has a weightage of 10 to 15 percentage in the overall weightage. The brief overview of what this chapter contains. So the core solutions such as Internet of Things that is IoT Hub, IoT Central, Azure Sphere, Azure Synapse Analytics, HD Insight, Azure Databricks, and Azure Machine Learning and its tools like Cognitive Services and Azure Bot Service and serverless computing solutions like Azure Functions and Logic Apps. Also DevOps solutions like DevOps Services, GitHub, GitHub Actions and Azure DevTest Labs. In part one of this video, we'll be discussing about the core solutions and followed by this, I'll be posting another video on Azure management tools. So the first is Internet of Things. So whatever we have a device, it can be a laptop, it can be a mobile, whatever kind of devices you may have. But if in case it collects the data and then sending them back to a cloud environment, then those are called Internet of Things. In this, we have three kinds. One is IoT Hub, second is IoT Central, third is Azure Sphere. In IoT Hub, mainly used for bi-directional communication between any IoT application and your device. It helps to maintain the health of your solution by tracking all kinds of events such as it can be a device creation or a device failure or a device connections. All these can be managed using IoT Hub. What is IoT Central? On top of this IoT Hub, if in case we add a monitoring functionality like a dashboard, which allows us to connect, monitor and manage our IoT devices. Also, based on the monitoring future, if in case we have a function to send alerts or notifications whenever your device need any maintenance, so those kind of features can be handled in IoT Central. And what is Azure Sphere? Compared to IoT Hub and Central, Azure Sphere can be chosen when we need more secured solution. So it's a secured connected crossover microcontroller unit used for high level application platform for all internet connected devices. Example, in IoT Hub or Central, managing a refrigerator or such kind of devices, changing the temperature of it, those can be done using Hub or Central. But in Azure Sphere, as I said, it's more secured solution. Example, validating our authenticity in an ATM. That kind of secured future comes under Azure Sphere. These are the three different types under IoT. Next is big data analytics tools. When we say big data, it's nothing but a large volume of data. So these are the three types of solutions we have in Azure under big data. Azure Synapse Analytics, Azure HD Insight, Azure Databricks. The Azure Synapse Analytics is formally called as Azure SQL Data Warehouse. It's nothing but a data warehousing and the combination of big data analytics. And next is Azure HD Insight. It's fully managed open source analytics service for enterprises. And also it helps to create cluster types such as 
Apache Spark, Apache Hadoop, Apache Kafka, Apache Hbase, Apache Storm and Machine Learning Services. What is Azure Databricks? It is a central dashboard for managing all our big data. Commonly, it will be used by data analysts, data scientists, data developers. And also, it helps to set up our Apache Spark environment in minutes. So these are the three different types of big data solutions we have in Azure. Next is machine learning. Machine learning is nothing but making predictions. It consists of tools and services that allow you to connect the data, to train as well as test your models, and to find one that will most accurately predict a future result. It will have a complete control over the design and training of an algorithm using our own data. It is a process of setting up a valid data, training it in a model, and then a proper algorithm, and then releasing it. That is the overall end-to-end -end process of machine learning. It is just an app that predicts you know, future outcomes based on our private historical data. All the data scientists, AI engineers, they use this machine learning to get the future predictions. We have two services under this machine learning solution. One is Azure Cognitive Services, Azure Bot Service. Azure Cognitive Service is nothing but, it helps to see, hear, speak, understand, and even begin to reason. That means understanding the content and meaning of images, video, audio, that can translate the text into a different language. Example, Alexa, how we have Alexa. It helps as a mediator to understand our language and converting that to a choice which we are expecting. That is called Azure Cognitive Service. Developers can access the Azure Cognitive Service via APIs and can easily include these features in just a few lines of code. And next is Azure Bot Services. Best example for bot service is dinner reservation or gathering any our profile information. It's nothing but a platform for creating a virtual agent that understand and reply to all our questions just like a human. Interfaces with us via natural language. In most of the hotel bookings, first the chatbot will start like a virtual agent. That is a best example for Azure bot service. So we don't need an agent to sit and chat with us. Rather, this Azure bot service helps to chat like a virtual agent. Next, serverless computing. Serverless computing is nothing but, it helps to execute code in the cloud, but it doesn't require us to manage the underlying server in that machine. Functions, logic apps are the best example for serverless computing. First is Azure Functions. The difference between functions and logic apps is when we run a code and code based, that comes under Azure Functions. Whereas when we need to execute a business process, workflows, and when we have logic diagrams and connectors in between that, then that comes under Azure Logic Apps. That is the major difference. In Azure Functions, the programming languages like C, Python, JavaScript, Java and PowerShell be used. Whereas, as I said, the logic apps are like working with variables, decision statements, loops, connectors, those will come under logic apps. So these are the major types in serverless computing. 
Next is different DevOps solutions we have in Azure. First is Azure DevOps services. It's nothing but a set of tools to help companies manage the development, starting from development till deployment of a product. Also, it includes the project management tools such as boards and also pipelines. Azure repos, Azure boards, Azure pipelines, Azure artifacts, Azure test plans. These are some of the examples which comes under Azure DevOps services. GitHub and GitHub Actions. It's nothing but a shared source code repository where the developers can perform code reviews by adding their comments, questions in a web format before it's merged to a main code base. Also, it helps us to automate the software development workflows from within GitHub. That is called GitHub Actions. Azure DevTest Labs. It helps developers to manage the virtual machines, also the platform as service resources without any tedious approvals. That means automated means of managing the process of building, setting up and tearing down the virtual machines that contain builds of your software projects. We are now at the end of part one video in chapter three. In part two, we will discuss about the management tools in Azure. If you are watching our video for the first time, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Also, don't forget to watch our videos on Azure 900 chapter one and two. And if in case your friends are preparing for AZ 900, don't forget to share this video with them. See you all in next video. Until then, bye.